in that scenario, if you have a board, 18 doesn't come on when they start to come down, uh, down the board, from the right side of the market. Yeah. The, um, the briefing paper that World Sailing put out is very clear, and they diagram this, that once a boat has been given the mark room she's entitled to, it's done. She's used up her ticket. She can come, we're going to find out, she can come into the zone and not use mark room initially. That's no problem. She doesn't have to use it. And she can go way up here, and she continues to be entitled to it. But the moment she has A, sailed on the next leg, and B, left the marker stern, done. Doesn't turn on again. So the key is to make, if you're trying to trap there, the key is to make sure that you have not left the marker stern. You do a hard down turn, is that what it is? Yeah, so the question is, if you're trying to set a trap up here, for blue, the key is, especially if you're gonna cross this line here, which your crew should let you know, uh, to remain overlap with the mark at all, as long as you remain overlap with the mark, you're protected. Once you sail away from it, now you're out in the street and you can get run over by a city bus. Or if you get here and then turn up, now you've left the mark astern, now your protection under 21 is gone for that mark. Okay, other questions about um, exoneration? We talked about exoneration. What that means, gave all those lured mark scenarios, the difference between the mark room definition before and now, and when it turns off. Yeah, go ahead, Ben. Question uh, on exoneration of the lured mark. Yep. Uh, so if the boat ahead is coming in and they do a, a wide mark grounding and they're not right up next to the mark and they luck above close hall to shut the door on the next one of the boat behind, yep. uh, are they still protected? Great question. They're ready, they're ready 16. Yep. So the question is, if you're the blue boat and you're titled to mark room, and let's say you go wide for whatever good reason, you're trying to bait yellow to go in there. The rule says as long as you're sailing your mark room path, which is your proper course, you're protected if you break a rule. So let's say from here your proper course is to turn and come close hauled. Let's say that's your proper course. If you go above that proper course, you're no longer sailing on that markroom path, and all that means is you're no longer eligible for protection under 21. You can still shut the door on yellow because rule 16 just says, hey, when you change course, you have to give this boat room to keep clear. But if they've sailed in under the mark, then when you change course, there's no way they can avoid you without hitting a mark. That's, that's 19. Yeah, touching a mark, touching a mark is considered unseamanlike. Breaking a rule is unseamanlike. So the outside boat has broken rule 16-1 by changing course but not giving the other boat room to keep clear in a seamanlike way. So yeah, you'd have to luff while they can still bail out to one another. Exactly. You have to luff while they can still bail out. So you don't break any rule by going head to win there, as long as they can react. But if you're sailing on your proper course track, and they don't fit in there, then tough luck on them. Good. Other questions on exoneration mark room? Yeah. Same thing at the bottom mark, but you're coming in, both you're coming in from the left. Yep. I'll always repeat the question. And they're overlapped. Yep. Uh, we'll say yellow on the inside, blue on the inside, yellow on the outside. Copy that. And further, further from the left, so they're coming, yep. Now yellow is giving blue mark room. Copy that. And as they get closer to the mark, there's enough room for the hull, but not for the boom. And the boom hits the mark. Since they changed rule 31, technically they haven't hit the mark because it wasn't the hull. Would you say, did yellow give enough mark room if blue's boom hits the mark? Well, the question is, under the test rules, the boats are coming into the mark here, uh, and yellow is giving just enough room for blue to fit between yellow and the mark for blue's hull, but not enough room for blue's boom to avoid the mark. And the question is, because you're now allowed to touch the mark with your boom, uh, is yellow giving mark room? My answer would be, 
When the boats get into the zone, at that moment, you remove this boat and this boat gets to sail her proper course around the mark. Whatever rounding she thinks will get her on to the next leg as quickly as possible. My guess would be that she would not choose to do that. That would be my guess. So I think if, if she's being crowded down on the mark to begin with, I don't think she's been giving room to sail her proper course. It's more likely that her proper course is going to resemble something more up here and maybe out something like that. So that'd be my, my first answer. My second answer is I think it's unseeming like to hit a mark. It, a, it breaks the rule, but you can get something caught on the mark. We've all seen that happen. So I think in any case, if yellow was not, if blue couldn't avoid the mark because of yellow, that's to, in my opinion, clearly blue's not being given mark room there. It's just because on the flip side of the board, when you have the old rules and the test rules, or the current rules and the test rules, however you want to refer to them, you took all the seamanship wording out of the test rules. Right, and the reason seaman-like is not in, the question is, the, the observation is that under the new rule mark room, seaman-like rounding has gone away. The reason for that is under the current rules, the definition of mark room is room to sail to and around the mark. And the definition of room is the space you need to sail in a seaman-like way. That's gone. Now the definition is the inside boat gets to sail her proper course, which is going to be wider and tighter, in my opinion, than a seaman-like seaman rounding. So we no longer use the term seaman-like in match racing. David. Could you put the two boats to lure to the mark and, and let's say and one is overlapped, but as the two boats come around the mark... Go ahead, I'm listening. The two boats are coming around the mark, uh, clockwise, yeah, like that. And is, am I correct that it's when yellow has cleared the mark, has left in the stern, even if blue has not, blue can still love them. Is that right? All right, so the question is, uh, in this rounding, Blue, the outside boat, we'll call her L O, has to give the inside boat mark room, which is room for the inside boat to sail her proper course until the inside boat has left the mark astern. Nothing to do with where the outside boat is. So if the outside boat leaves the mark astern first, it's, it, it's not, that's not the relevant factor. Yeah, but the moment yellow leaves the mark astern, then blue has given yellow mark room, yellow is done with the protection of rule 21, and now blue can luff, giving a room to keep clear. Okay. All right, yes, Doug. We'll make this the last question of this section. At the uh, windward mark, if the boats are approaching the mark on starboard, with yellow clear ahead, under the old rules, um, um, <coughs> go ahead. On, starboard. On starboard. The other starboard. Under the old rules, yellow may have to uh, go head to wind uh, to avoid uh, following blue. Now, uh, under the new rules, she can tack, but can she tack? lower than her proper course? All right. Well, the question is, under the test rules, and we're going to get to how the markroom rules work in the test rules in another section. But the question was, we know that yellow is clear ahead of the zone. She's entitled to sail her proper course around the mark, which is going to include a tack at some point where she can tack and smoothly bear away and go on her path. Let's assume that's her proper course. Um, the question I was asked is, does, can yellow sail along that? Because obviously when yellow gets right about here, now blue becomes the right of way boat. And now yellow needs the protection of rule 21 in order to get around the mark. So as long as she's sailing on her proper course, she's protected. The question I was asked is, does she have to be sailing fast along that proper course, or can she intentionally sail slow? Proper course is a direction the boat is sailing, not a speed. 
It's a course that you'll sail to finish as quickly as possible. But the definition doesn't include a component of speed in the determination of proper course. So yes, you can sail slowly along your proper course. As long as your keel is on that dotted line, you're sailing your proper course. And you can do that as slowly as you choose to. But not quicker. No, as long as you're on that dotted line, you can go as quickly as you want. A quicker... The, no, the point is, if this green arc is the arc of the proper course, and the yellow boat throws in a quick tack there, this red line is not her proper course, and therefore she's not protected. So she can sail as quickly as she wants along her proper course, but if she turns more quickly so she's off it, she loses the protection. Okay, let's wrap the Q&A on that.